Hi, my name is Amalia Formoso, and six years ago, at the age of 30, I was diagnosed with wild type yeast, a very rare cancer, which meant having my entire stomach removed. I would like to share my story with you to explain you how much my life improved despite all the odds. I feel strong and full of positivity. I believe that we all go through good and bad in life. The obstacles we find on the way allow us to appreciate the good things to come. I spent my 20s working and partying. I was either at the office working ridiculous hours, including all-nighters once a week, or out having a very active social life. I was eating out, smoking, drinking and clubbing. I was having fun. However, it all changed when one day some tests revealed that I have five tumors in my stomach and my best option was a full stomach removal. It was very scary. But the doctor, he actually played it very smart when he explained to me that the worst secondary effect would be that it would be difficult for me to gain weight. What woman would not be happy to hear that? I decided to focus on the positives. My family and friends played a key role in their recovery. My friends flew from all over Spain and Europe. We had a farewell stomach party before the operation and everyone's agenda was coordinated to make sure there was always one of them holding my hand, filling me in the gossip or making me laugh. I didn't have a minute alone. My parents were next to me every minute and the hospital staff couldn't have made me feel more comfortable. I know it is bizarre to say, but I only have good memories. However, reality hit when I got home. I had to eat very small amounts of food and even if they were minuscule, I would struggle to breathe. It was very frustrating. I knew I had to eat to recover, but it made me sick and I would go to the bathroom constantly. I lost 10 kilos in weight in two months. One morning I woke up crying and I thought I'm never going to be normal again. I won't be able to go out for dinner or on a date without getting halfway through the starter and then running to the bathroom. This was the second time and last time I allowed myself to feel sad. I cried for five minutes and promised myself that I would not allow my life to be ruled by my sickness. I started eating five times a day, exercising at least 30 minutes every day, and I was feeling stronger, happier, and more energized than ever before. I enjoyed four years being cancer free and went to my six month checkups without thinking that the cancer could come back. But in July 2018, my scan showed that I have developed two new tumors in my liver. I have tackled them with the same positivity. I've come to terms with what has happened to me in the last six years. I'm aware that I need to see it as a chronic disease. And although there is no treatment for me today, there are doctors that are researching to find a cure. I'm working to support the post yeast clinic, who specialize in wild type and pediatric yeast patients such as myself. The team led by Dr. Bulusu is aiming to improve treatment, provide highly specialized care plans and find a cure for this rare form of cancer. Today, surgery is usually the best choice, provided this is possible. There are some drug treatments like Glivec, Sutent and Regorafenib, but wild type yeast patients like me do not respond to these therapies. At the moment, there is no cure they can offer me, but it is encouraging to know there is a team of people working on developing future treatments. My family and friends' support give me strength every day, and most importantly, they don't allow me to feel like a sick patient. My cancer is not going to take over my life. There are many things I want to do in this life, and my gist is not going to hold me back. And I hope you do the same. Bye.